This is not a 5 5 game. It's a big game. Fatty food. It plays more like a 15 30. Ask Magic. He has that effect on chicks. You brought me a chicken last yeah. time I commented. It tomorrow. So good. You'll be here tomorrow, right? Is it fried chicken? Yeah. I want fried chicken next time. It was well, we have to be next year. Will you bring it tomorrow, seriously? Yeah. You're just going to make it and bring it? No. Yeah, oh, you go buy it from yeah, somewhere? Oh, okay. It goes a bomb. I never heard of the place. I might have to just show up for the fried chicken. He calls. 75? Yeah. You know, but sometimes though, if you have the right. Kelly waking up with Jax. Uh, the place you got him pretty good. It's ridiculous. I never heard of it. It's and Francisco is going to put in the limp re raise with the ace 10 suited. 600. Can't see Kelly folding here with the jacks, and we could see a big pot. You need to have a little. Where is that place? Francisco and Kelly both stuck on the night. There's another one near the garden, like down the street on the left. It's interesting to see what Glenn does here with the ace queen. Oh, yeah. What is it? 600? Yeah, it's 600. What's the name of it? Tokyo. K O K I O. Chicken. Really good. Action's over here. Hold on. 600. It's like a Japanese expression. Korean. You raise it to 600. Yeah, I'll tell you, there's one in downtown LA. We're going to see it heads up to the fly. I know. That's what I'm saying. Like Bro. once in a while you heads get up. that good find, you know. Excuse me, John. Francisco with uh, all the back doors here. Back door straight outs, back door flush outs, two overs. And let's see what he elects to do. He's going to elect to see bet here. Call. And Kelly does call. Pretty much no other option there. Seems standard for Kelly. And Francisco improves to the nut flush draw now on the turn. Francisco trying to figure out how much he would have behind, what type of bet sizing he would have to have here to have a significant amount behind on the river. Check. And Francisco does check. Kelly now going to make a small bet for protection slash value here. I definitely don't hate it. Puts Ace King in a very difficult spot. She can get to a cheap showdown with against a hand like Queens, Kings, or Aces. And we may just see this river go check check. Francisco leading here just wouldn't make any sense after check calling the turn. All in, Francisco. And he does move all in, wow. And let's see if Kelly can put the pieces together. Three. 
What kind of hand would Francisco check call the turn with? And then lead the river all in. 39.05. You would have to think if he had a hand like aces, kings, queens. If he did elect to check call the turn, he would probably elect to check call the river as well. He would probably elect to bet most of those hands on the turn. So it's just hard to put Francisco on a very big hand here. And let's see if Kelly can figure this one out. When you're in these spots, always go back to preflop. Start at the preflop action. Remember, Francisco limp raised, which is indicative of a very strong hand. He's king, queens, kings, aces. He bet the flop, which is consistent with those types of hands. And then he checked the turn, which of course he could still do sometimes with queens through aces. But then how often are queens through aces both A, checking the turn, check calling the turn, and then B, lead shoving the river after check calling the turn. It's just not really consistent with a line an over pair would take. And Kelly puts the pieces together and makes the correct call there. Good, good call from Kelly. She just puts the pieces together going back to pre-flop from the flop to the turn action. And she makes a very, very good call with pocket jacks and just kind of figures Francisco's line just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So Kelly loses the big one with jacks. And then she gets the double up with jacks there off Francisco. 